Uh, Shalom, Mike. I'm first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rekak, Wadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that teach word in our true favor, sir. Yeah, today, I just want to title this lesson, uh, uh, This Place, This Is the Place of Him That Knoweth Not the Most High. And this is a quote from Job, the 18th chapter. In the last verse, and pretty much this place is is talking about America, man, because this is going to be mem the memorial of what not to do, you know, such as Sodom and Gomorrah was set for an example. Matter of fact, speaking on that, let me let me go ahead and get it, because guess what, uh, America is going to suffer the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, by the way of the fireman brimstone raining down on this place. And that fire and brimstone is going to be those uh, thermonuclear missiles, man. You know. So this place is going to be a memorial of what not to do, of what not to be like. You know, the measuring stick of of, uh, of, uh, of what not to do. So this is 2 Peter chapter, chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. See, he turned them into ashes. How he did that? By raining fire and brimstone upon that place. Well, guess what? It's gonna it's gonna come upon here in America, man. You know, because uh, matter of fact, let me continue on. It says, "Condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly." So yeah, example that means example. But I'm I'm gonna uh, let's go to the blue letter and uh, let's see if we can get a little bit more out of that. Let's see. A matter of fact, before I get, let's just get this into just a regular old Google, Google definition of this sample. You know, because, hey, it's, it's what not to be, man. This place, America, it, you know, you know, going on, they let these bundles of sticks, you don't run freely. You get all these different types of philosophies. You know, you got the women ruling over you. All these things is, is uh, it's pretty much a build up. To the discretion says it's gonna come into into its perfection, because all these things is going on, and these people think that there's no consequences behind their actions, man. You know. So let's see. Example. Let's just see. Bear with me. I don't know why it's taking so long. Take us so long. But this hey, this one of the reasons why they want to do this 5G to make it so convenient, man. But we're not equal to Satan devices, you know. Okay, so it says I have no internet. Okay, but hey, the spirit had a hey, okay. Well, guess what? It, it the sample goes back to example, man. You know, the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah is is, is being played out here in America. So guess what? Those that, that judgment is going to happen the same way, man. You know, in a in a modern way. By the way, of those missiles, you know. So uh, it says, uh, I'm gonna read this again. It said, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an over an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So the Lord did it because He knew after. That it was gonna happen again, you know. That was just a, 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 a an example. He he only showed you know part of what he's gonna do to this place. See what, what we about to see, man. The, the, the discretion of America. Matter of fact, since um we are gonna get that in Genesis 19, but let's get this in Joel 18. This is Joel 18, and um it's just Joel 18 and um. I start at um verse seventeen because it did hey this um uh, it says his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the streets yeah see this is gonna be after these devils uh, uh be totally demolished man when they get extinct you know in their bonfire it said he shall be driven from the from light into darkness and chased out of the world see 
it, there's I, at the point after these Edom might serve their hardcore bunny, it's not going to be a, an, a nation of Edom no more, man. You know, it says, um, he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwelling. See, because every part of the land that you had, you ain't you even the land of Edom is you're not gonna you're not gonna own it no more. You know, it's not gonna be no more Edomites. Nothing dealing with an Edomite is gonna be on the earth again, man. You know. It says, um, they that come after him shall be astonished at his day as they as they that went before were affrighted. See? And they went they went into his dwellings and they were affrighted. You know, uh, uh it got a sign note. It says, Lay hold on horror. Yeah, because with this place of America, it's gonna be the world largest desert. It said they gonna uh, uh let me see if I can find that. Let me see if I can find that. Bear with me real quick. Bear with me. Uh, uh, yeah, Con, this is uh, 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 Jeremiah 50 and 13. It said, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it, but it shall be wholly desolate. That's talking about America, man. It shall not be inhabited, it shall be wholly desolate. It says, Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hissed and hiss at all her place. So yeah, they're gonna be it. They're gonna uh lay hold on great horror when you see this place Babylon. The aftermath, man. You know, I might just call it the aftermath, man. You know. Because hey, th this is this is uh this is gonna be the memorial of what not to do. This like people they overlook Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, Sodom and okay. When you think when you see the discretion of America and in uh the smoke that's gonna go up for a long time, you're gonna remember, man. And and, and, and after the smoke and the desert creatures inhabit this place, you're gonna still be like, damn. You know, it says, uh, um, surely such are the dwellings, surely. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that know of not the most high. See, it said this is the place of him that know of not the most high because the place the uh is gonna let you know because of what happened. It's it's not gonna be no uh uh, uh no greenery there, it's gonna be number desert creatures. Matter of fact, let's get this in Revelation the 18th chapter. Because America's gonna be the world largest desert, man. You know, it's already a desert in the spiritually, and you have the spiritual wells by the way of these camps, the camps, you know. But, hey, as, as a, a whole, America is a spiritual desert. There's nothing here that's going to uh, profit you, that's going to bring bring you life, man. And it's going to play out in the physical. That's why this, this land will never be inhabited again, you know. So this is Revelations 18, and... um. Yeah, this is Revelations 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Yeah, and that's talking about all the unclean and desert creatures that's going to be here in America, man. Those are the only ones that's going to be able to uh, 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 withstand this environment, you know. And, and and that's gonna be uh you know after that 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 uh, uh that radiation and all that. See, hey man, America is, is, is the discretion is gonna be something else, man. You know, and it's gonna be so bad that it ain't gonna be no more. Uh, uh, matter of fact, let me see. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Matter of fact. Because it says the, the water shall be dried up. No, let's see if I can find that. Bear with me, Akiyam. Let's see. Damn, bear with me. I can't, I can't find that scripture. Okay. Well, pretty much, 
this place is going to be uh, uh, totally laid out, man. Oh, man, that's what it is. That's what it is. Why do you have about some outside? What the why do you have about some outside? I call all you have about some outside. Let's see if I can get this real quick. This is, um, this is, um, Joel, chapter 2. This is Joel, chapter 2 and 2, a day of, uh, it's like verse 3. A fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Yeah, that desolate, it said the garden of Eden before them. It was <clears throat> all types of life. You see greenery. It, it, it was it was so-called paradise to these people, man. You know, uh, it's not paradise. This, this place is not paradise to us, man. You know, but in, in a sense, you had life, you had greenery. But behind them, after the, the, the discretion, when it hit ground zero, it's a desolate wilderness. Everything is going to be laid out. It ain't going to be no more uh, state lines. Now you crossing into Alabama. You ain't going to see none of that, man. You know, everything, it said the, 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 the tent part of the city is going to be broken up, man. You know, so this place is going to be laid out, man. You know? And, and, and hey, hey, the water's going to drop around America, everything, man. You know? So let's get this in uh in Genesis, in Genesis the 19th chapter. Because, hey, what was written aforetime, Ramp I Learned, we know for a fact that America's going to be destroyed. Just because of the simple fact that uh, uh they, they, they let these bundles of sticks just be bundles of stitch freely they give them liberty man so just that that one thing lets us know that uh uh this place is going to be destroyed because we wholeheartedly believe in the scriptures man and the lord is not just gonna uh, uh um uh uh matter of fact before i get that in dealing with sodom and gomorrah let's get this in um in jeremiah before the ninth chapter. Now let's let's get in Jeremiah fifty. Bear with me. This is Jeremiah chapter fifty. And uh this is Jeremiah fifty and um uh, I started um And I started on um, verse 35. Matter of fact, I started verse 33. It said, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all them and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. And that's what we got going on right now, man. You know? It says their redeemer is strong. Oh, it said they were oppressed together. So guess what? That's America, man. And guess what? We, we're coming back too, man. We, 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 we're not just the son of Canaan, nor the Canaan no more. Hey, this is the nation of Israel once again, man. You know, it says, um, the Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. And how he's going to do that? By destroying this place, man. It says, how how's the land disquieted? Uh, 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 how the uh, the land get rest? Uh, by uh, uh, cleansing cleansing the land with the blood of that that shed it, man. You know, it says. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if I can find some real quick. Bear with me. Let's see. Let's see if I can find this real quick. I can bear with me. Yeah, this is this is Genesis 4 and 10. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. Yeah, so guess what? The ground is crying out. Why? Because it, it needs to be uh cleansed, man. You know? And and the only way is to be cleansed of the blood of that of him that shed of it. So that's how he's going to get his land rest. And guess what? It still ain't going to be inhabited, man. You know? It says, uh, uh, um, going back. 
on Jeremiah, it says, um, it says, a sword is upon the, Ch the Chaldeans, said the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they that and they shall dope. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as women. Yeah, man. <laughs> So guess what? Pretty much everybody going to get it. If you ain't part of the, the elect, man, you're going to catch it if you're, in, if you're in, in America and throughout all the world, man. Especially here in America because this this, this whole piece of land, which this is a large piece of land, is going to be uh, 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 the lake of fire. This is this place is going to be covered uh, uh, in, in flames, man, by the way of those missiles, you know. It says, uh, um, a sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. Yeah, and that's the point right there. That was uh, looking for earlier, too. Yeah, because, hey, when the mills is here, it's going to dry up part of the, uh, the waters, man. See, that, that, that fire that's going to melt with firm and heat. Hey, it's going to it's gonna burn down these damn, these, these tall buildings. You got an Alabama power downtown. All oh, that's going to be burned up, man. It's going to melt with the firm heat. It's going to um, break down to the, to this, this uh, own element, man. You know? It says, um, A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. For it is the land of, graven Im of the graven images, and they are made up upon, and they are made um, mad upon their idols yeah this is the land of graven images because now everyone um follow follow the ways of america man what well, i said the kings of the earth committed fornication with her man you know every, you got you got a damn mcdonald's in china you know you got on uh, these damn on uh, elamites uh you got elam yeah i mean wearing three-piece suits uh you got them over here these motherfucking wearing dickies and sandals and shit man you know so it says, um, continuing on, he said, Therefore the wild beasts of the desert with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there, and the owls shall dwell therein, and it shall no more be inhabited forever, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. See? And that's what's, that's what's going to happen to America because this is the place where uh, uh, man didn't know the most high, man, you know? Because just you just look at this place, America. This is the most wickedest kingdom ever, man. And and it deserves what's about to come in this place. The Lord is about to to thoroughly judge this place, man. You know that's why every piece of this land is gonna be on fire. He's gonna cross every uh T and dot every I. He, you know you got all the way to Maine, to 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 Southern Cal, to, to to uh Northern Washington, to Southern Florida, all four corners of this place. It's going to be desolate, man. You know? All, everything in the, America is going to be desolate, man. You know? It says, As as the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, So shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. See? And why he using Sodom and Gomorrah? Because that's going to be the same way that it is going to be judged and because this this is Sodom man this is this is Sodom man you know this is Sodom man my uh, uh spiritually Sodom once again man you know so uh pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and get this in, in uh, Genesis the 19th chapter because hey the Lord's judgment was the uh uh rain down uh brimstone and fire upon this place and that's what's gonna happen you know, so this is um, this is um, uh, Genesis chapter nineteen, and uh, bear with me. Let's see um, all right, yeah, kind of, okay. So this is Genesis uh, uh nineteen, and I started uh, in verse. 21 and he said unto him see i have accepted thee concerning this thing that i will not overthrow this city 
for that for the which thou hast spoken, haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything to thou become thither. Therefore the city of the uh, the name of the city was called Zoar. And yeah, and that's why the scriptures say, uh, uh come out of her, my people, proceeding out of her plates. So hey, the Lord's uh, uh we're gonna um bend them chariots, man. To the to the chariot, I mean to the uh when when the discretion comes. Uh, matter of fact, before I get into anything else, let's see. Because hey, this time we wanna be able to see the discretion of Sodom, man. Lot didn't get a chance to see it. We're gonna be able to get a chance to see uh the discretion of Sodom and, uh you know, which is which is Babylon, which is America, man. You know, and if you can't see it, you'll see it when you got two minutes to, to, to uh rethink yourself when you see the missiles uh you know in the sky man so let's see uh what it is isaiah yeah isaiah let's see this is isaiah chapter let's see is it 26 and 20 yeah kind this is isaiah 26 and 20 it said come my people enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. See, see, we're gonna have to be in them chariots, uh, uh, so, um, before the missiles hit, man. You know, and the scriptures tell you that, um, in the seventh trumpet, uh, and, and uh, shall no evil touch thee, meaning that we're gonna be, uh, we gotta be out the way, man. We gotta be out of here before that, that seventh trumpet blows, man. You know, which is those missiles, you know. But it says, verse verse 23, Genesis 19 and 23, The sun was risen upon the earth when light entered in Zohar. Then, uh, see? See, man? Uh, hey, hey, that's the sun of the morning, man. When the Lord finally returns, that's when the night is going to be over with. This dark place, uh, uh, Esau, we really, it's like living in Esau's mind here in America, man. You know? It's like living in Esau's mind. You know, so this dark, this nightmare, when the sun comes up, it says, it says the sun was risen upon the earth when light entered into Zohar. See, and it said, then the Lord, Yahweh, rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. See, so when, when, the, when, the, when that's when, when the sun came up, when, when the sun and the morning returned, that's when, the, that's when the discretion is going to come, man. That's why it says immediately after the tribulation, you're going to see the sun and the moon darken and the, uh, the, 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 the coming of the Son of Man. So the discretion and the deliverance is going to be at the same time. But the aftermath, this place ain't going to be inhabited no more. This is going to be a uh, uh, a memorial of what not to do, man. And that in America, this land of bitterness, you know, and that's why we're going to rejoice when this place goes down, man. We're going to be telling our kids about this place, man. You know, but that's that's pretty much it, Aki man. I hope that we edit found will give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect this season word in our true favor sincerity. DTA, Abad Abal.